Hello friends, Tony here and in this video I want to work with the edit and delete the state and one more thing, if I go here to create a new state and if I click save yeah we have an error so we need to add validation and for that if you go to the form builder we have here also the validation as you can see we can add the rules and let's do that so let's open the create state form and here I'm going to add also the rules for this one which is going to be an array with required so the name is going to be required it's going to be also max of uh, 100 and let's say min of three characters okay and on the country ID, I'm just going to add the rules and say here require like this. Now, if I say right now and let's see if I refresh, let's save. Yeah, now we have the name field is required and the country ID field is required. Good. Now let's work with the update. And for that, what I'm going to do, let's open first the resources, views, admin, state, and here I'm going to create also the edit blade dot php. And let's go and copy this and paste it here and change from create to edit state. And we are okay then let's open the controller so the app http controllers and the state controller i'm going to remove the show method and on the edit we have a string dollar sign id but i'm going to use the route model binding so i'm going to say here state model dollar sign state and then we need to return the view the same we have here with the four. So if I return the view, but instead of create, we need to say edit. And also instead of the create state form, we need to say update state form. And let's say, let's go back, go to the states and go to the edit. we have the route is not defined. So now we need to work with the update state form. Now on the create state form, so if I go here, we had the route for the admin store, admin state store, but on the update, we need to pass also the ID of the state. So how to get the state here, I have read the documentation and I have not found that how to do that, so on the form builder we don't have the example to get the state, but what I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the make method on the form and then instead of fields we have here the example I'm going to key to call the, the chain the action okay, so instead of Add in the action here. I'm going to remove from here and also the fill because we need to have the state as the fill instead of here. I'm going to chain on the controller. So the similar we have in this one. So let's go to the state controller and update state form. I'm going to say make and then chain the action which is going to be the route uh, admin dot state dot update and pass in the id or the dollar sign state because we have here and then we're going to do something like this and then also i'm going to chain the field the field of fields and pass in the state. 
Okay. Now let's save and let's go to the update state form. Just add some classes here, which is going to be similar to this one. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. And also let's copy the text and the select and paste it right here. So we need to import the select from the form builder and also the country. And now let's say this. Also, instead of save, I'm going to say update here. And let's see. Now if I come here and refresh, because of the edit, the admin state, I have make a mistake here. So not state, single state, but states like this. And refresh. Edit. And yeah, we have the name in the United Kingdom. If I go back, let's choose this New York and United States. Edit. Yeah, New York and United States. Good. Now let's uh, work with the update. Also here I'm going to use the route model binding. So pass in the state model. Dollar sign state. And also I'm going to say the same thing we have done the store. So validate the data and then update that. So also I'm going to copy this. and say update state for dollar sign form and say dollar sign data to be the form change the validate and pass in the request okay then let's say dollar sign state update the data and the last thing I'm going to paste this in and say state updated okay save and let's try now if I refresh here yeah we have New York and United States but let's go to this one and I'm going, I want to change the name for the State. instead of New York I'm going to say London here and say update yeah the method post is not supported so we need to change also the method to be put here and let's try again so let's say London update and now State updated and we can see we have London here and United Kingdom. Very good. Now let's work with the delete and for that it's very easy on the state controller down there. Let's use also here the route model binding. So state model dollar sign state and first let's delete that state delete and then return back so copy and paste this uh, state deleted and I'm going to return back instead of the route because we are in the index okay a refresh and let's say delete the New York delete the state are you sure no now if I say yes yeah, delete. Okay, friends, so that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy. Now we have a CRUD for countries and also for the states. So let's create new state and I'm going to say Athens. And the country is going to be Greece. Save. We can search, for example, Athens. Good. Also, we can filter for Greece and all the states belong to the Greece is going to list here. 
Good friends, if you like Naib, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video because it's going to help me to rank on YouTube and help me to make such a video. All the best.